the sine of E, the subject of the formula. And in this case, it is divided by 12. What are we going to do for it to stand out alone on one side of the equal sign? Good. Since it is divided by 12, we are going to multiply both sides of the equal sign by 12 centimeters. So we multiply by 12 centimeters. And to balance the equation, we also multiply the other side by 12 centimeters. And it will be the same. 12 centimeters and 12 centimeters will divide. On the right hand side, we are going to remain with the sine of the angle at E. On the left hand side, centimeters and centimeters will divide. We are going to remain with 12 multiplied by the sine of 45 degrees divided by 10. At this point, I want you to use your calculators to evaluate 12 by sine 45 degrees divided by 10. If you have done your calculations nicely, you must be in a position to get the sine of E as being equal to 0 0.8485, that is, to four decimal places. But what we have been taught to find is not the sine of angle E, but the angle E itself. Meaning, at this point, we need to introduce the sine inverse operation so that on the right hand side we remain with E and on the left hand side we will need to evaluate the sine inverse operation of 0 0.8485 so once again let's make use of our calculators and find the value of the sine inverse of 0 0.8485 if your calculations have been done nicely, E is going to come out as 58.05 degrees to two decimal places. At this point, we can now conclude and indicate that the angle DEC is equal to 58.05 degrees. That is to two decimal places. So this is how the sign rule can be used in a situation where two sides have been given and an angle has been given in order for you to find the size of an angle. I hope you have nicely followed through the examples and at this point I'm going to give you questions which I want you to practice with so that you can also make use of the sign rule. Remember mathematics is a practical subject. The more problems you solve the better you become. So now we have the two questions that I promised you. The first one involves triangle A, B, C in which the angle at B is 100 degrees. The angle at C is 38 degrees. The length of the side BC is 15 centimeters. I require you to find the length of the side A, B. Remember, in a triangle, the three angles add up to 180 degrees. In the second question, I have uh, the triangle J, K, L, in which the angle at J is 25 degrees. The length of the side J, K is 11 meters, and KL is 
7 meters. I'm requesting you to find the size of the angle JKL. It is my appeal to you, upcoming mathematicians, to work through the questions that I've given you and uh, many other similar questions that you might come across. Remember, as I said, mathematics is a practical subject and you need to solve as many problems as uh, possible. With this, I'm calling it a day. Bye-bye. See you next time.